hello friends uh, if you are inserting a femoral central line and if you are wrong in just one step which i will be telling you now then you can spend hours while putting a line to have a look step number one uh, written informed consent so any procedure you are doing you have to take a written informed consent from the parents then comes the preparations what are preparations are needed so if you are putting a sonograph a usg guided femoral line a usg machine with a probe is what required uh, as i'll another thing which you require for insertion is your uh, personal protective equipment you need a surgical cap mask you need a donut gown you need to have a sterile pair of gloves and uh, also you need to have a central line kit a central line kit uh, should have instruments which you will you, you which you will be using while inserting those may you need a needle holder you need a scissor suture material etc you also need to keep things for prepare uh, skin preparation like your hexidine 2% or more is what advocated also these are the things which you will uh, need that has to be kept ready apart from that you need to have a normal saline or heparin flush for the lines and you need to have a transparent uh, dressing material uh, once you insert the line so this was about the preparation then comes the positioning and this is the most important uh, point which you have to keep in mind while inserting a femoral line so before you uh, go for positioning we all know that you should know the anatomy of the femoral triangle so where you know if you while positioning you have to keep the leg little externally rotated and abducted not more than 15 degrees also elevate from the hip or the buttocks put something you know uh, a sheet or something to elevate the buttock that will make your femoral triangle prominent and in the femoral triangle femoral vein is in the sheath femoral sheath and it is just merely a femoral artery you have to insert just below the involved ligament in the artery and just medial to it you have to insert the line so this is about positioning uh, one someone has rightly said uh, it is the positioning not the positioning is what uh, you required while inserting a femoral line once the prep, uh, the positioning is done you have to prepare the skin with more two percent or more prohexidin solution uh, you have to clear it from uh, ideally from the umbilical to the knee or three times allow it to dry before you drape it uh, once that part is over then comes the procedure so where you know uh, the sullinger technique is what uh, you use uh, once you feel the artery uh, you put a needle with a negative suction and point the tip of the needle should be pointing towards the umbilicus so when you are inserting a flow of blood is what will be seen at that point you just have to hold the needle take off your syringe and insert a guide wire remember that it should the guide wire should go freely if you are seeing some resistance while inserting the guide wire there are chances that you may have hit some smaller tributaries and it's not the main vein which you have hit so it should smoothly go uh, wire and then you take off the needle once the guide wire is inside you have to put a dilator dilator is created uh, is needed to create a track so on which you know like said later on the line will be put so if you before putting a dilator you might have to use 11 or number knife to just make a bold uh, incision so that the passage for the entry for the guide uh, dilator is easier so you put that dilator and dilate it and come out now then over the uh, guide wire put a central line a double lumen triple lumen whichever you are using for that particular patient and try to insert the uh, uh, line over the guide wire make sure one end of the guide wire comes out and you insert the full length of the line over the guide wire inside the uh, patient's body uh, a free flow of blood should come if there is a problem in back flow that that means either the you know there are chances that you may have uh, uh, maybe not be in the right place so back flow should be there once that has been confirmed you may lock it you have to suture it and so that you know kids don't uh, remove it it's accidental removal chances goes down so we usually suture it and then you have to dress it with uh, 
the transparent dressing material together and then uh, you, uh, the uh, care of the center line is what need to be explained to the uh, sister who will, be, who will be handling the patient and the last part is the documentation so documentation of any procedure is important so do document your procedure uh, thank you very much for watching this video on a femoral line insertion uh, now you will see the demonstration of the insertion thank you Okay, then I'll go to the second.
Ja. Thank you.